Yeah, everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So we're jumping back into Breaking Bad. This is going to be uh, Season 1, Episode 6. This is called Crazy Handful of Nothing. So let's jump into the um, episode here. Let's go. What is that, snow? What is that? Oh, it's the bullet holes in the RV. Uh, okay. I see. Let's get something straight. This, the chemistry, is my realm. I am in charge of the cooking. Out there on the street, you deal with that. As far as our customers go, I don't want to know anything about them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear from them. I want no interaction with them whatsoever. This operation is you and me, and I'm the silent partner. Have you got any issues with that? Whatever, man. No matter what happens, no more bloodshed, no violence. Wait, 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 what? what? Is this a flashback? Did we miss an episode? What is going on? Hey, what? Okay, obviously this is to come yet, so we haven't actually seen this one. I like his hairstyle, though. I like his hairstyle. I like being here with you. Yeah. I'm only saying that, you know, I'd be okay with it, really, if, if you want to go. You know, actually, it, it would make me feel a little better knowing that you were there when Walter Jr. gets home from school. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, and have you been in touch with Elliot? Because, uh, I haven't seen a check from him. Yes, I, I got it. Really? It came. Yeah, <laughs> and I, <laughs> yeah, it, it came last week, and I put it right into my credit union account, so hmm. I'm taking care of it. Could you not deposit this until Monday? Who can... Give me an example of rapid chemical reaction. Hint, hint. Right here. Like an explosion? Yes, good. Explosions. Explosions are the result of chemical reactions happening almost instantaneously. And the faster reactions, i.e. explosives, and fulminate of mercury is a prime example of that. Right. Oh. You okay? I got it, Mr. White. Don't worry. You got kids to teach. Actually, if he's on chemotherapy, he has to tell the school because he has to use a different toilet to everybody. You have to um, protect yourself against that uh, cytotoxic um, poisoning. So, hmm, interesting if he if he hasn't told his school yet if he's undergoing uh, chemotherapy. Can I talk? To of course. Well, when, um, 
when you don't let me in, when you don't tell me what's going on. I mean, it's like I feel like you don't even want me around sometimes. No. And, 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 and recently, these, these afternoons, when, when you're coming home so late and, and we're just left wondering where you are. Yeah, yeah, Dad. What's up with that? Well, I, uh, I, I like to be alone. I mean, at times. And it, it, it's not about you, really. It's just that sometimes it feels better not to talk at all. Well, <laughs> I, I like to go on walks a couple of times a week, maybe more, after work. And I, I, I really enjoy the nature. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, oh, God, you okay? I'm gonna burn it off. I gotta take this off. Oh. Oh, sit down, get some air. Oh. Oh. What are you gonna tell me? Tell you what? Cancer. You got it, right? How did you know? My aunt had one of those dots on her to target the radiation. 3A. Contra limp notes. I get it now. That's why you're doing all this. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. You got a problem with that? Hey, you tell me. You're the one that looks like you just crawled out of a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> me. Yeah. What happened to your mad skills? <sighs> Go on. Here. You do it. What's this? Christmas? Is that when we find way out in the boonies? That cook site? Holy shit. What? Lab says they pulled up an imprint of some old writing and used to be on the inside, an old magic marker or something. Yeah? What's it say? Property of J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. That's Walt School. Uh-oh. I'm out there making fat stacks, man. Chill. Hey, prepaid Scary cell how phone. many people are Use buying it. it. How much is this? 26 big ones. Is that all? $26,000? Uh, no, that's 2600 And your share is 13 Minus 25 bucks for that phone. Last time I checked, there were 16 ounces to a pound. What'd you do with the rest? Smoke it? Yo, I've been out there all night slinging crystal. You think it's cake, moving a pound of meth one-teenth at a time? So why are you selling it in such small quantities? Why don't you just sell the whole pound at once? To who? What do I look like, Scarface? This <laughs> is unacceptable. I am breaking the law here. We have to move our product in bulk, wholesale. Now, how do we do that? What do you mean, to like a distributor? Yes. Yes, that's what we need. We need a distributor. Now, do you know anyone like that? Yeah, I mean, I used to, until you killed him. Oh, damn. <laughs> ah, yes. There is that issue. So, 
Who took Crazy Eight's place? Some guy named Tuco. Ah, Jesus, look, he's upper level, man. He's not gonna do business with some dude he doesn't know. Okay, you just don't understand the way it works. You can't just bum rush some high level ice man and start cutting deals. Okay, it's risky. You need an intro, you need someone to vouch. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hank. Well, let me know if you need anything, huh? I will, thank you, Carmen. No Damn. The chick's got an ass like an onion. Makes me want to cry. So what, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I had some uh, questions I wanted to run by, uh, work-related. Oh. You feeling okay? I, I can come back later. What do you mean, work-related, though? Uh-oh. Do you recognize that? Huh? Hmm. Well, that was used to cook meth. Find it out on some Indian land about 40 miles from here. Old oh, label on the inside used to say J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. But, uh, we found it near an abandoned car belonged to one of our snitches. A snitch? Yeah, one of our confidential informants. Any respirators like that go missing lately? <clears throat> no, no. No, I mean, I'm not, not that I know of. I'll need to take a look at that inventory. Sure. Well, the science faculty, the staff, Carmen, the vice principal has the master, and uh, me. How about students? Uh, no, no, no students have keys. Are there any other respirators? Um, no. Because I'm counting six, uh, inventory says eight. Yeah. Hmm. Now answer it, come on, I got stuff to do. Jeez. Okay. Hello? Yo, what's up, Mr. W? Uh, speaking. A bad time to talk? Absolutely. All right, so just listen. Hey, so you know that guy we were talking about, Tuco? Turns out my boy Skinny Pete was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. So we got her in. Last thing I want to do is get you in hot water. Right. But some meth monkey had a feeding frenzy in here, OK? You got to keep better watch over your turf. All right, I will. We don't want people to start wondering about you, right? Right. No. <laughs> right. Absolutely not. Did you just see the the blood drain from his face? It's like, oh my god, I've been busted. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Yeah, come on. Tuco, what's happening, my brother? Hey, man, yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Break out the ice. <sighs> Take a walk. No worries, man, I'm no cough. <laughs> I said, hit it. <laughs> Booyah! Wow! <laughs> this, this kicks like a mule with his balls wrapped in duct tape. Oh. We got a deal. See, I told you Tuco would hook you up. Cool. 35 large for the pound. Whoa. You little lightest. What about the money? You get it. This is a consignment operation. You want me to float 35 G's? Oh shit, the deal is done! <laughs> oh, you idiot. Come You're not gonna get on. through. Oh, come on! <laughs> Man. What? 
How much is he giving him? Up front. That looked a little bit more than 35. Oh. Idiot. Oh, what are they doing arresting him? Right, what do you got there? All right, fuck him. Okay, Uncle Hank's arresting Mr. Archuleta. <laughs> hey, um, why were you arresting Mr. Ar Archuleta the other day? He's a pretty cool guy. Well, uh, turns out he has a record. Yeah, a couple of possession beefs. We figured he was the guy that was stealing your uh, your school's chemistry gear. I mean, you know, he had a key, fit the profile. And when we searched his truck, we found a big old fat blunt, which goes to prove old huge Hugo ain't so cool after all. It's it's to you, Walt. Yeah, I, I'll... That's not evidence. Oh. He's the guy? Yeah, I'm the guy. <laughs> that was my wife's look when I first shaved my head. It's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I want to talk to Tuco, and I'm not leaving until I do. What's your name? Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Okay. Heisenberg? I'm Seat Heisenberg. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> oh, man. 50 Gs? How you figure that? 35 for the pound of meth you stole, and another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. I steal your dope. Hmm? I beat the piss out of your mule boy. And then you walk in here and you bring me more men? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is pretty silly. Woo, that's a brilliant plan, is it? Brilliant. You got one part of that wrong. This she triggered something? Is not meth. Oh! What the? <laughs> Damn! You got balls. I'll give you that. Alright, alright. I'll give you your money. Ah. That crystal that your partner brought me. It sold faster than ten dollar ass in TJ. Let's say you bring me. Another pound next week. Money up front. All right. Money up front.
Sometimes you gotta rob to keep your riches. It's as long as we got an understanding. One pound is not gonna cut it. You have to take two. Damn. <laughs> Orly. Hey, what is that shit? Fulminated mercury. A little tweak of chemistry. I think Heisenberg has arrived on the drug scene. Woo! What is going on? Oh, yeah, I'd get out of there. Go. That's 25 grand he just made. Come on, man. I wish I was strong. Would have known from the start. Instead of waiting so long to reveal what's behind. But there's no use in talking. Oh, that was good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that one. Heisenberg has arrived. Whew. I mean, that's it. That's it. Oh, my God. The whole change. This whole episode. Like I said, the videography changed. You know, his attitude has changed. You know, his relationship to Jesse has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. This is the tipping point. Um... This is when it gets serious. Now, what is it? Two pounds a week? What is that? 70 grand? He's making 35 grand, you know, splitting it with Jesse a week. That's pretty good money. Obviously, he's breaking the law and he's making meth. It's killing people. But, you know, for the sake of the, the video, the sake of the, the series, his money troubles are pretty much over. He can, you know, he can undertake that um, cancer treatment and he won't have to worry about you know, cashing that check on Monday anymore. Oh, that was a good one. I really liked that episode. That was a tipping. That was a tipping point for the whole series. You can feel that shift. You can feel that shift. Um, his brother-in-law is a moron. Come on, man. Oh, you couldn't, you couldn't, what was the line he used? You couldn't see a criminal if he was close enough to, I don't know what the line was, but you know, it's like he's sitting right in front of you, man. Here's the cook, and he doesn't even see it. But anyway, uh, I can't wait to the next episode. I can't wait to the next episode. I can feel the whole shift. I can feel the whole shift in that episode. That's a good one. That was a good one. We'll have to come back next time, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Hopefully, you did enjoy that. Make sure you stay safe wherever you are, and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?